Hey everybody, and welcome to the second What About Me tutorials on how to use free programs to make the effects that you would usually see in more expensive programs such as Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas Video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a night vision effect in Virtual Dub and Wax 2.0 using these two programs together. Um, I kind of promised this tutorial from last time's tutorial, the Sniper Scope tutorial. Tutorial, tutorial, t yeah, I'm going to say that a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, first, a little um, advertising of my website. Please visit my website if you're watching from YouTube. Um, go to my channel and click on my website. If it doesn't work or you can't find it, just Google Infinite Sites Productions and Sites, S-I-G-H-T-S. Yeah, somebody got it wrong and spelled it S-I-T-E-S once, so just clearing that up. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. Go to my forum, register. The forums are awesome. I've only got like three people there, but yeah, I really need help getting my forum traffic up. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. First, open up Virtual Dub. Now, if you don't know what Virtual Dub is, go to my website, go to the links page, and sh there should be a link to Virtual Dub, the website and there you just download it from there. So once you get it you just unzip the file and should open up like this. Begin by going to file, open video file or pressing control O and then you will load the video. <clears throat> Scroll down to the video you want to test this out on. And here you just have uh, your video with two windows here. The first window shows you the video before any effects are added, and the second window shows you your video after all the effects you add in this program are applied. So to add the effects, on the top, go to Video, Filters, and then you have this little Filters window. And this is really cool because um, all these controls on the side help you organize your filters and how you want them set up. So let's begin by clicking add. Scroll down until you see grayscale. Click OK and then click OK in the filters box. Now your right video shows you exactly what's happening, what you're doing to the video in this program and the grayscale makes everything black and white. So basically it's your same video, everything's exactly the same, no color. So go ahead and click file, save as AVI and save it as whatever you want to name it like uh, the the file name it was plus at the end black and white or gray scale and then just click save and it'll bring up a little box that shows you how what the progress of the saving is and then once it's done saving you can go ahead and minimize or close virtual dub and open up wax 2.0. If you don't know what Wax is, or if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, then you're probably going to want to go to my website in the links page and also look up that. Um, here, this is the finished. I don't want to show you guys that yet. No, go away. Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's done. So, yes. Uh, go ahead and click Add Media Folder or File. and then this uh, window opens up and then go to the video that you just saved, the gray scale one. And then you drag that down to your media line here. But instead of dragging it to the first line, drag it, drag it down to the first line and then when the second line appears, drag it down to line two. And then line three will appear, leave that alone because we don't need that. Click um, before you continue, you can go ahead and minimize Wax without bothering it. Open up a simple paint program such as Windows Paint or Microsoft Paint and uh, just make a regular green background. If you want to do an infrared video, you can go ahead and make red too, which I'm going to show you what both of them look like here in a second. So once you have saved that picture, 
go ahead and open up Wax again and click Add Media Files and then go to that picture where you saved it. Now if you've created red or green or if you've created both and if you want to try out both of them at the same time hold control and click red. Now let go of control. You can hold control if you want but scroll down or no. You have to let go of control to scroll down and then find a green and then control click that also and then click open. If you don't get both of them at the same time only one comes up you can just go ahead and click add media files again and put in the other one that did not show. So first here is green. Now it's not long enough obviously because you just play it for a little bit and it shows your video and the green disappears. To fix that, click and drag the right side of your uh, picture on the left, on the bottom right um, window box thing here, and you should be able to stretch the video, just like you would in Windows Movie Maker, but instead of only shortening it, you can actually lengthen it in here. But you can't do that with videos. With pictures, you can. So it's just about the same way as stretching out um, in Windows Movie Maker. So now that you have that, click the little checkbox on the green.bmp, or I saved that as a bitmap image, so it's going to say .bmp, but whatever your is called where it says green, uh, click where it says toggle track properties in the bottom left box, and then drop down the track properties menu. And then there is opacity and compositing mode. You can mess with opacity if you want, if you like it better than what I'm about to show you, but I prefer to leave the opacity at 100 and drop down the source compositing mode menu and clicking multiply. That makes it look a whole lot better than whatever else. And there you have a basic green filter for your video. Now you might notice on the top or bottom or left or right that your video is showing through and it's not green. To fix that, you just right click your green and click stretch to fill. And then it'll completely cover your video. And then you just click project settings and choose how you want to export the file. Um, you can do combined, combined video and audio. If you have audio, and you can use combined video and audio without the video being extremely laggy. For me, it gets extremely laggy and I can't work it. So if it does the same thing for you, just use separate video and audio and put them together in Windows Movie Maker. But for me, I just do only video for now because there's no sound. To save your file, click on where it says file name, the dialog box, click on the three dots button. And then you save your file in here. However, when you save it, it will show you C, Documents and Settings, and then wherever you've saved the file. Backspace everything, highlight and backspace everything, and then just type in the name dot, dot .avi, and it has to be dot .avi, <clears throat> otherwise it will not save correctly. Click OK, and then click the green arrow that says Render. Now you didn't have to name it name, I just named that because I didn't have anything else to name. And then once it's done, everything will be put into one video file, and it will look like this. <coughs> yes. Here we go. It will look like this. No effects are shown here everything's normal just like you would apply or add a normal video everything is a normal video and then from here you can add the sniper <coughs> scope effect if you wanted to do that if you watched my sniper video I hope that you got a lot out of this thanks for watching